Hey, welcome back to the print house, guys. I know it's been a minute since I've done my last video. And um, I just wanted to do a little update video on what's going on and maybe why I'm a little, I've been a little slow on uh, getting some uploads going. Um, but I've, I've been having a little bit of health issues lately. So um, I'm having some bad problems with my legs. So um, I, had to, I had to continue to work from home again for my full-time job. So it's been taking up a lot of my time during the day. Um, but I haven't had a whole lot of time to be in the shop. I do have orders and jobs and banners mostly to get done. Um, and I've just been a little bit slow. I mean, fortunately, those don't take long to do. So I knock those out at night or when I have good good, uh, good days or good minutes during the day. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, I, I got coronavirus last year in August. In August. I mean, um, for you non-coronavirus believers... Let's just say I got really sick from that virus, whether it's flu, coronavirus, whatever your view is on it. I don't care. I don't have any personal. I just all I know is I was in a hospital for a week and fighting for my life. And um, my wife got sick. All four of my kids got sick. So it was a it's been a battle since then. Um, but I did return to work. And then I'm, now I'm back home again because I'm having some bad problem, problems with my legs. Um, just being able to get up and move around. I have. A lot of medicine, I have a lot of things. So um, this is just an update video, not a pity video. <laughs> I, by no means am I looking for pity. Um, I'm still in the shop. I'm still working in the shop, like I said, when I can. I have good times of the day when medications kick in. I'm not on any painkillers. What I'm on is, is just uh, over-the-counter drugs um, and some um, muscle spasm drugs that my doctor prescribed to me because I have a lot of muscle spasms in my leg and my back. Um, I've had neck surgery. I've had back surgery. Um, and I've metal screws, plates, all up and down my back. So I, I'm not in the best shape, but I try to make do with what I can. So um, just a quick video. What I wanted to do is just upload a video explaining that I updated most of my links for most of the equipment that I have. I did a video um, explaining what you would need or what I need or use for uh, banner product, uh, production. And I didn't have any links for the trimmers, for the cutters, for the safety rulers, um, for my bags my sealer so i added all those links to every video um and hope that people uh can go to those links and, and get those uh products sorry i'm like my words are way off right now um i got this light right here and it's like blaring it's like ten thousand lumens look at this thing it's ridiculous <laughs> but it lights up really great in this area over my uh over my work table that's where i do most of my uh, my banner printing so anyways, um, the, the video and, and all the other videos will have the updated links to all the equipment that I use for my banner stuff. Um, let me see if I can go this way here. Sorry about that, guys. I'm using a tripod. Well, that might be better. Maybe. Let me move this guy. Yeah, that might be better. So I'm not staring at that light. Anyways, um, I, got some, I got some videos that I need to upload that I've done. And uh, more videos on my... My LX610 and the uh, Epson uh, 6500. Um, still two great machines. Still an asset to, to my setup. Um, the LX610 uh, had an update recently. Um, I sent it in. Got it back. Everything's good. Um, love that thing. The Epson 6500. Love that. These two are great. I love these things. So you're going to see more videos coming with those. And, uh, of course, my, uh, my HP Latex is doing phenomenal, too. I love that thing. Um, have had zero issues. Um, I'm, uh, I'm still on the same inks because I haven't done a whole lot. Um, and I got some uh, more videos coming for my heat press, my Fusion IQ. I got some shirts and some other stuff I'm going to make. Uh, some sublimation items I'm going to press. Some more testing from Top Prints. Um, some more testing from um, Supercolor. And I'm trying to get some sample DTF prints. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I, I know I mentioned in a previous video that I was getting a DTF machine. And I think what I'm doing, I'm just holding off on that right now. Uh, for one, I don't really need it yet. Because, you know, in theory, I can just order DTF prints from anybody. I mean, there's if you go on Facebook groups, there's a gazillion people. Uh, gazillion. It seems like it's overwhelming how many people um, are selling prints. And fairly cheap. So I'm going to get a bunch of DTF stuff and get um, some print tested. And um, if it's worth it, then I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll invest in a machine. But right now I'm not printing enough. And I know with those machines, you got to print like every day, 
you know, any time, any machine that's printing with white, it, it takes a, you, you have to use them because you have to agitate the white like every day. Same with DTG machines, except for the Rollins, you know, like the ones that I have over here. Love those things. Those are great. Um, so I'm going to hold off on the DTF until I know that I can, I can use them <laughs> every day or not every other day. Um, I mean, I really wouldn't want to just print every day just to waste, just, just to keep it going. That doesn't make any sense. And uh, I really liked how the Supercolor uh, prints did on my coasters. I want to do, I want, I got some more prints coming that I want to test on shirts. Um, cause I haven't done that yet. And top transfers also. And then, um, I, like I said, I just want to reach out to a few different uh, transfers and see. And also what I got is, let me show you. I got some HTV, uh, Brightline, um, what do you call it? G Flex 236. That, I think this is what, 20 inch? And uh, I'm going to be doing some prints on the HP Latex with that. I'm really excited about that. Let me put this down. So you're going to see more, more videos coming with HP Latex. Like I said, I'm going, to, I'm going to be printing on the HTV. Really excited about that. I'm going to do more. more I got a, oh, I got another video of the, uh, uh, of, of the DTG for the Roland where I'm going to do a video. Well, I, I already kind of did a video where I'm going to cut on a laser cut my shapes and then I'm going to print them on the DTG. Right. And then I'm going to, and these are just white pine wood, you know, I'm sorry, just natural pine wood pieces. And then let me, let me show you what wood. These are just average Average pine pieces of wood. You can get these at Menards. Menards actually has has nice pieces. You can get some that uh, have good glue layers because a lot of a lot of the issue with lasers when you're cutting wood is the glue and what they what types of glue they use in there. So you want to get a, a, a piece of wood that's you know pretty straightforward. But there's a lot of uh, Menards has a craft section of, of wood, natural wood, and uh, great pieces. Uh, this is actually from a large sheet. I think this is four mil. This is a four mil sheet. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to do a, a print video on the DTG Roland. Um, I'm going to print this, and then I'm going to throw it on the cutter so we can do full full bleed prints on the wood. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to do, I'm going to swap that. I'm going to cut them on the, on the laser, and then I'm going to throw them on the DTG in the same kind of way I did with the coaster. So you're going to see a video on uh, printing for the, uh, on the wood, on the DTG, and vice versa on the laser. So that's kind of cool. I'm really excited about that because I've had a lot of questions on, um, hey, what else can you print on with the Roland DTG? Because it's not just a white t-shirt printer. I mean, it's not limited. Guys, there's so many for the price. And right now, Roland has a great discount on that thing. It's like $2,500 um, with a coupon. It's like $500 off. It's free shipping. It's like ridiculous. Guys, if you don't pick one of those things up, and don't be afraid of the print size. Eight and a half, 11. Hold up an eight and a half, 11 on your shirt. The majority of the shirts are going to work. No problem at all because that size is great. Um, unless you're like me and you're 3X, 4X, and sometimes, depending on the shirt, 5X. I mean, I'm a big dude, you know. So, I mean, uh, 8.5, 11. Here, I'll show you 8.5, 11 right here. This is 8.5, 11 on me. I'm just going to show you on this big blank piece of paper. This is 8.5, 11 on me. So, you're going to tell me you can't print 8.5, 11 on a 4X shirt? I'm 4X right now. Look, if you put it this way, 8.5, 11... Look at it, from chest to chest. From this is this is this is the size. Look at that. You tell me, you can print on that. That's very usable, very usable. So, um, I don't promote Roland. I mean, I'm not trying to promote. I'm not paid to promote. But I love that. I love it. every machine that I have. You're gonna. I guarantee you. I'm not gonna lie to you on my channel. Every machine that I have, I love it. It has a purpose. If you stop seeing it on my channel, it's. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna tell you. You're gonna see that equipment. It may be added or disappeared. I mean, nothing's been disappeared. <laughs> nothing's, nothing's disappeared since I've started. So what I'm going to tell you is if I get rid of a piece of equipment, what, which I almost got rid of my LX610 only because my Epson and my HP Latex does everything that does. But I've discovered when it was gone, when it was gone for service, I kind of needed it. So it's really, what's really good about the LX610 is print on demand, small run, Labels and like I said in my previous videos, I was using it for my own product labeling. That's what I was mostly using it for. So oh, this video is getting too long—ten minutes. So uh, if you don't see a piece of equipment 
hey, ask me where it is, but I'm going to do a video. I'm going to let you know why I don't have it anymore because I don't want to mislead anybody. Um, I'm not promoting anybody, any, uh, any company, any manufacturer's equipment. I'm not being paid to. I'm just telling you my experiences and uh, how, why I do use or like the equipment. So, um, anyways, that's the update on my on, on my channel. I just wanted to get a video out there, let you know I'm not haven't forgotten anybody. I try to answer all the questions, uh, you know, as they come in on videos. I, I I get on there right away. I do it from the phone. It's a lot easier. Uh, but I have not spent a whole lot of time in the shop just because of my health, my legs. It's it's been bad. So um, I'm gonna up, try to get upload a video later. Um, with the with the DTG, I did one video, but I want to do another one, um, and I was thinking about doing some live too. Um, I want to do live. I don't know what you guys think about doing live videos. I've done live with other people; it's great, they, but I just don't have a whole lot of audience or a whole lot of uh, um, people that visit, and I, I don't want to waste my time. I mean, I know it's live, and it'll be a video eventually, but it'd be cool if I had to do a live and I can answer some questions that way. But most of the people that come to me, they usually just uh, comment on a, on a YouTube video and then I just respond. So, um, Hey, uh, congratulations to everybody that's uh, got equipment, um, that was referred by me and, and I hope you do well. Hope you're successful what you're doing. Uh, if you got questions, you know, obviously, you know, I'm there for you. So, uh, Hey, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification and check out those Amazon links guys in the bottom. It'll help me, help me keep the channel going. Um, help me with my website. Um, I'm going to be purchasing a website and a package, uh, for the print house very soon here. I uh, already have the site. I just got to get the, st the store up and going. So um, everything helps. And, and and obviously the links will help you if you're interested in piece of equipment I have. And, and everything that I've listed, I love it. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.